Section 5.7, dividing with a remainder. Like the last clip, let's take a look at first what kind of result we get with doing it with arithmetic when we have a remainder problem, and then we'll look at how we do it for algebra. Process is exactly the same. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So divide first number, first number, 6 by 2 is 3. Multiply, 3 times 2 is 6, which we subtract. 6 minus 6 goes away. Bring down, 5. Start over again. Divide, 5 by 2. Well, the 2 fits in twice is the most. Multiply, 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, we're going to subtract that answer. No, that doesn't cross out, it gives us a 1. And bring down the next guy. Start over again. 19 by 2, well, that goes in 9 times as the most. Multiply 9 times 2, 18. We're going to subtract that number. That gives us a 1. And there's nothing left to bring down, so that 1 is a remainder. The way we would write that final answer is 329, remainder of 1, divided by the divisor of 2. So let's take a look at how we'll do it with algebra. And we're going to do the same thing with the remainder when we have algebra. We're going to take the remainder and make a fraction part out of it. The remainder will be the numerator. The divisor on the outside is going to be the denominator. So let's see. Let's take the problem. p squared plus 2p plus 20, all being divided by p plus 6. And we'll divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. First term by first term, p squared over p. That leaves us with a p. The answer goes up top. We take that answer and we multiply it, distribute through the p plus 6. P times P plus 6 gives us P squared plus 6P. We're going to take that result and subtract it over here. And remember, put parentheses around it when you subtract it, so you remember to distribute your minus sign. P squared minus P squared is gone. 2P take away 6P will be minus 4P. Bring down plus 20. Now we're starting over again. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Minus 4p divided by p, first term by first term again. I can't see that. Okay. First term by first term, minus 4p over p will leave us with minus 4. So we take that minus 4, put it on top, and then we take the minus 4 and multiply it times p plus 6. So minus 4 times p plus 6 is minus 4p, take away 24. We're going to take that result and subtract it right here. These two cancel out. 20 minus a minus is add the opposite, so it's plus 24 leaves us with a 4. There's nothing left to bring down, so we're not going to continue repeating the process. We're going to have a remainder with 4. To write the final answer, and I'm going to move the final answer down below here so we can look at it a bit better. We don't want to leave it with an R4. We want to express this remainder just like we do with arithmetic, is the remainder is the numerator and the denominator is the divisor, p plus 6. So our final answer is p take away 4, and this is a positive 4, so we're going to say plus 4 over p plus 6. And that would be the final answer.